Good afternoon viewers. We're here again uh, in the other side of Ligon Street. We've gone from cheese and meat to the butchers and now into the important part, wine. And with me is a, a Carlton institution, Aldo Tasca. Thank you for having us, Aldo. More importantly, the um, uh, Aldo's business, which is run by himself and his two sons, Fabian and Paul, who's is currently in Bali, in the sunshine. But they donated two dozen of their very good quality, uh, uh, very price um, attractive uh, Italian red wine for the Caterina's La Pocchetta tonight. Oh, yeah. They drank every drop of it, all though. That means. And I, I found out from Caterina that her father came out in the same ship as you, exactly. in Australia, yeah, 1952. It is probably. So what what area were they? They live close to you in, in Italy. Oh, probably. Three kilometers, two or three oh, kilometers, yeah. north east of Italy. Right. And when you come to Australia, where did you first start getting involved in retailing liquor? Okay, retailing liquor after a few years. The first year I was in a little grocery store in Chemistry Carlton, then I went to a factory in Collingwood, and then I started the uh, Frank Augustino in Swanson Street, 1954. That was the one opposite the brewery, exactly. yeah, near, near, near Victoria. Yeah. Up near. Exactly. Fantastic. Food, food and wine. Yeah. And from then on, here I am. What was the next big uh, move for you in retail? Well, then I had a shop in uh, Williamstown. I had a little shop at Newmarket. Then I went to back to Agostino again because I only did the first three years. Yeah. And from there I went to. I was a partner in a office for 20 years. And three years ago I decided to open up something for my family. So this is your retirement. This is my playground. <laughs> He's a very enthusiastic winemaker. Ryan Retail, I got to know you in the early 70s Long time, when I got involved uh, in some financial. I'm saying about 40 years. And then the Del Monte Group, remember? Exactly. Mariano used to run around and yeah. do all these specials. And yeah. So we had a situation here where I think it's fantastic. You've rejuvenated the name. And what, what's the name of the shop? I mean, it's not very original, is it? Uh, it's after uh, my name, <laughs> So folks, if you want a good deal, plenty of good Australian wines, and you still specialise in those, what we call clean schemes, or in those imported Italian wines, and you're also a wholesaler. Peter, uh, our aim is to have quality, value for, for money. You know, we understand what a good wine is. Yes. We will never sell cheap, bad wines and coffee. We sell everything at a reasonable price. We are very competitive, but we, we have uh, what you call into my DNA. There's no blood there, there's wine. Peter. That's what you want, and folks. Food. And food. Yeah. That's what Italians live a lot. No, no, I mean, that, that, you know, either you have it or you don't, yeah. I think. But anyway. That's so, Aldo's shop is just a couple of, uh, about 50 metres down from King and Godfrey, right, right. on Largon Street. And just tell them Big Jack sent you and they'll look after you. But thank you, Aldo. Thank you. Thank you. You're looking no, well I, for an old we'll I know. This has to be one of not only Australia's institutional wine merchants, but perhaps in the world. I'm standing here with the grandson of the famous Jimmy Watson, Simon. Thank you for having us here. Pleasure, welcome. And Father Allen is taking the weekend off on Grand Final Day. Absolutely, absolutely. Doesn't care much for the football. Doesn't he? No, no but he gets excuse for holiday. Very noticeable here, big crowd here for lunch, but interesting seeing that it's uh, 65 years since the, the family... 75. 75, 70, I can't even count. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You're very much like your uh, your grandfather's photo up there. Yes, yes, yeah. apparently, yeah. And you, so the, is there a succession plan in place? No, no, no. No, no I wanted to join the Navy. But you wanted to join the Navy, there we go. Yeah. Jimmy Watson's is an institution. It was the first, old, well, it's Australia's oldest family owned and run wine bar. But in the 1960s, for what the research I've done, when your grandfather died, yes. he had commissioned at that stage Robin Boyd, the right. famous architect, to look at redesigning the, That's right, the building. The building. Yeah, and he came up with a revolutionary uh, design, Mediterranean. 
which upset a lot of the locals initially, didn't it? but now it's a landmark. Absolutely. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's an interesting sort of thing. Yeah. And your clientele still a mixture of uh, the oh, university diverse. people. Yeah, very diverse. You know, a lot of university people, uh, students right. right through to uh, proximity to the city. A lot of people out of the city. So right. yeah, it's a, and you sorts. make a lot of your own wine. We, we got here. We, 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 yeah, we, we blend a lot of wine. Uh, we blend a lot of fortified wine as well. Right. So, yeah. so this is the place if you had a good lunch and you want to end up with having a nice what they call a sticky, a porter, a musket or a Lovely, toque, yeah, nice fortified wine. or a sparkling burgundy. This is a place to come. Absolutely. And it's a very busy place as normal. Thanks, and, uh, yeah. thank, thank you Simon. And give my regards to the old man. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Right